Hey guys, OJ Albina here, bringing you guys my APA Little Couple Wi-Fi Season 4 Semi-Finals match against Visually and his Antarctic Aegis Hushes. I'm very excited for this, uh, really long way to Remax, we played v Visually back in week 2 of regular season, we did sneak out a win for some, it was a little bit of a hexy game, but it was a good one nonetheless, um, Viz is a very, very good player, he's definitely a phenomenal content creator, and I'm sure you obviously know who is if you're here watching my stuff but if for some reason you don't of course link his stuff in the description below go check it out he makes a lot a lot a lot of wi-fi battle content so that's obviously very very cool but before we jump into the team builder just so you can see what we're bringing and why we're bringing it and stuff like that uh i do want to mention that only a good 40 to 50 percent of you guys that are watching the videos each and time every time they go up are actually subscribed to the channel so if you want to do me a massive favor go ahead and hit that sub button it's completely free it's really easy and uh, you can always change your mind later. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we've grown a good amount since the Ground Tundra has come out. We're almost at 370 at the time of recording this. Uh, my goal for the end of the year is 400. So if you can help me push towards that, I'd be immensely appreciative. So thank you, thank you so much if you end up doing so. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump onto the matchup just so you can see what we're bringing while we're bringing it. I'm sure I put a timestamp earlier up on the video just so you can jump right to the battle if you want to do so. But our team, if you did forget, Consists of Saland, Dreepy, Chinchow, Vullaby, Baltoy, Eevee, Binacle, Snover, Cubchunia, Mask. While our opponent's team consists of Joltik, Wubat, Ponyard, Goldeen, Krogunk, Punkaboo, Dupeter, Azuro, Litwick, and Bonsley. Now, this offense is very terrifying for me. I don't pivot around his team very well at all. Uh, if you look at my team and you look at Ponyard, I do not have a single ponyard switching i do not have a pivot into that thing um, sd can honestly just win the game on its own whenever so we're gonna have to be very careful about how we play around that i don't pivot around the um dupider very well water bowl moves plus good bug coverage are really difficult for my team to deal with um goldine if it's like some sort of sd set can actually be very very annoying as well so we're gonna have to be careful around that guy krogunk also don't have great switch ins to it if it is like a nash spot variant or even a sucker punch variant uh, we do have to be very very careful about it if we do let our team get chipped down into vacuum wave range it can be very difficult and then last time we played him he brought a really cool um like trick room core of litwick plus a zero there are two months that he's actually used very well despite them being you know lower tiered especially the zero so we're gonna have to be careful um and play around those things correctly because it was very hard for us to pivot around them in the last game but i think we do have a team to potentially do it and uh yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first off, we have Abdul, the Vullaby, Rocket of the Berry Juice, Weak Armor as its ability, Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, Air Slash, and Nasty Plot. This is our best potential win con, in my personal opinion. If we can find a way to get a little bit of chip on some things like the Golden and, you know, other big threats like that, we find an opportunity to not only get up um, a Nasty Plot, but also get our Weak Armor to prop while staying out of range of the Ponyard. So lots of contingency plans on this. Um, Sucker Punch Plus, I guess, Vacuum Wave or something like that for the... Krogon, but if we can find a way to stay out of range of those hits, this Pokemon massacres his team. We really just need to get up rocks and uh, kind of break through his team with other members on our team, and uh, we should be in a pretty decent spot. So I think it's a pretty solid win con uh, if we can position ourselves correctly. Next up, we have Simpler the Salander, rocking out the Focus Sash, Corrosion is ability, Fake Out, Taunt, Flamethrower, and Sludge Wave. This will most likely be my designated lead in this game. I want to keep webs off. I don't have Defog on this team. So I figured it's my best way to keep them off with the Dupider there. I can always Fake Out to break Sashes. I can Flamethrower and Sludge Wave the majority of his team for very, very hard damage. Um, we won't lose to Elite Ponyard pretty much ever. Um, you know, obviously Sucker Punch will knock us out when we have a Sash and we'll be able to Flamethrower that thing in the face and if not kill it bring it very 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 low which is obviously really solid as well so i think uh Salad, it's a very good lead in this matchup just kind of anti-leading whatever he wants to do if we can break the story of the bonds lead as well uh potentially taunt it and we think it's gonna try and get up rocks on our switch and then deal with it accordingly afterwards so that's obviously clutch as well Next up, we have Binacle, rocking off the Evia Light, Tough Closet Stability, Shell Smash, Liquidation, Earthquake, and Rock Blast. Same set as last time when we played Viz. Um, this set actually does really, really well. The only issue is going to be Vacuum Wave and Sucker Punch um, from the subsequent, you know, priority users on his team in the top tier mons and Ponyard and Krogunk. Um, potentially Shadow Snake from Punkaboo. So there is a good amount of priority, which is why I wanted to get Evia Light, just because it gives us that extra bulk so that we need to uh, potentially live those hits after taking a hit where we Shell Smash up. 
But if we can position this thing, uh, get a little bit of chip on the punk boo, maybe get rid of the crow gunk. Um, this is honestly a great potential win con in itself. And at the very least, it will break through and put us in a position, hopefully, for Volibee to win in the end. Um, or vice versa, you know, both could happen. Next up, we have Dreepy making its debut here in the semi finals match. We're rocking out with the life for player body disability, Thunder Wave, uh, Drago Meteor, Thunder Wave, Sucker Punch, and Curse. We are a life orb variant. Uh, my opponent, they do have the Azuril. Um, but I half expect Azuril not to come this time because I feel like it was a little bit gimmicky um, in coming last time. Uh, but it definitely could come once again. But regardless, I have Draco Meteor, Thunder Wave, Sucker Punch, and Curse. Curse is a cool way to get around like a, you know, we can Sucker Punch Ponyard. If we Curse down, we lose half our health, but he starts losing 25, which is awesome. We can Thunder Wave and slow things down, which is obviously really cool as well. If he decides to go for a more offensive mode um, and not be, uh, like, you know, like a Trick Room. You know, variant against someone that's really fast under webs with our clear body ability, obviously being able to outspeed things regardless of the webs going up, which can honestly be very clutch in itself. And yeah, just a general nuisance this game. I felt as if it did better than a member that we left on the bench um, in Chin Chow and stuff like that and grabbing us, you know, a little bit of, you know, offensive momentum, potentially, uh, you know, paralyzing things and just chipping down his things and being a general nuisance. I don't think Dreepy's going to win the game by any means, but I think it's pretty solid nonetheless. Next up, we have our Eevee, and then I think, okay, we have our Eevee, rocking out the Life Orb Adaptability, Body Slam, Bite, Double Kick, and Substitute. Only in Little Cup are you going to see moves like Bite and Double Kick on a competitive Pokemon, but here we are. Body Slam rips through my opponent's team, minus the Ponyard, and minus the Punkaboo. Bite does a ridiculous amount to the um, Punkaboo, and Double Kick kills most variants of Ponyard after rocks. It needs to be very, very bulky Eevee Light in order to live that hit. And it definitely doesn't take a Body Slam into a Double Kick, which I think is really important. Um, Substitute is to play around um, potential Sucker Punch shenanigans with the Ponyard if we do get a little bit weakened. Um, it's just sub up on things like a punk will-o-wisp um sub up on him trying to get up rocks or something like that or just him trying to sack something to position something better i feel like eevee forces a lot of switches in this game and they're very obvious switches at that and i'd rather be behind a sub when i have to take those pokemon on so i think it's a pretty solid option and then next up we have our dr drado rocking out with the culverberry levitates its ability earthquake rapid spin rock slide and stealth rock we're running with a physical Dr. Dreidel this time. The first time we've done so, it's mainly because I wanted that rock coverage. I didn't want to be walled by things like Woobat. I didn't want to be walled by things like Dewpiter, especially if I got a spin off. It doesn't matter if I spin away the webs, if the Dewpiter can come right in and just, uh, you know, set them up on me again and beat me 1v1 pretty easily if I am like, you know, an Earth Power Shadow Ball set or something like that, or, you know, Psychic or something. Um, Earthquake still hits the majority of my team's uh, opponent's team really hard. Rock Slide hits things that, you know, Earthquake doesn't hit in all honesty. It's actually pretty solid offensively, minus maybe a Pumpkaboo. Uh, it is a little bit hard to spin as long as the Pumpkaboo is around, but if we can force chip on that thing and be aggressive enough, we can get rid of it, which is honestly really nice. Oh, excuse me. For a Binacle endgame. But yeah, that is going to the team. I'll be right back with the match. All right, guys, here we are with the battle. Let's see what Viz ended up bringing. I think that's the exact team that he brought last time. Uh, Zer, Rill, Dupe, Ponyard, Litwick, I don't think I spelled Liquid Ruck, oh well, it's okay, it's okay, Joel Tick, which I actually don't have any switch-ins for, and Goldeen, okay, um, regardless, my designated lead in this game is going to be Focus Ash to land it, um, we're gonna fake out anything that comes in, we will taunt a Litwick so it doesn't set up Trick Room in our face, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Oof. Nervous. Um, our... There's no Pumpkaboo. So, our Eevee goes crazy this game. Eevee goes dumb. Um, with Double Kick and Bite, it hits everything. Like, Body Slam mercs everything else. If we can get up rocks, we claim a kill with Eevee every single time it comes in, basically. So, that's awesome. That's actually uh, super phenomenal. One thing I don't lead very well with versus is going to be the Goldeen. I do not deal with Goldeen very well, which is also not fun. I think my Goldeen switching is Dreepy, which is fun. But I don't think I deal with it very well regardless. And I can't really pop my juice on Volibee or anything like that because that is for sure a win con. And again, uh, no Krogonk too, which is also nice. Less priority to deal with um, and less for our Baltoy to check. So we can use Baltoy as lure specifically for the Ponyard, opposed to using it to check that, um, like a nasty plot, uh, Troll Gunk or something like that. That's obviously great as well. And yeah, good looking fun. So, Buzz Light. 
That is fine. I'm gonna fake this thing out. Young Simp Lord. We fake out. And then I don't have any removal, so I want to taunt. I'm sad, so worst comes to worst, I can still save this afterwards. Oh, I do have removal, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so he's gonna just stay in Scald. He can't burn me, obviously, I'm a fire type, so. So be it. Now, what's my switch into Dewbiter? Um, let's see how much Dreepy takes from it. Does not kill me. I am minus Spadef though. Which is unfortunate. Uh -huh. Part of me really wants to go GP. Yeah, I think it's my least useful member. I'd rather have uh, Slant in the back just for that speed tier. I could still Will-O-Wisp the uh, Pawn Yard and win, uh, you know, mind games versus that thing. But that's obviously clutch as well. Heart's Gold. It doesn't burn me in a good spot. That is not max special attack at all. I'm just gonna drop a Draco. Um, that's Evio Light. So if he's not Evio, we actually kill with this, which is dope. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Now, what do we go into? We don't have great switchings to this thing, I'll be honest. Part of me very much so wants to go for a Thunder Wave. Or just a Curse. Because again, I don't have great pivots into this thing. And with the team that he brought, Binacle is a phenomenal win con, so I don't think I risked that just yet. I don't think I risked that just yet. Um, I could Curse. I think I'm just going to Curse, see exactly what he wants to go for. Place a nice and clean curse on this guy. Knock off. Good to know. So, not the best start for us, I won't lie to you. Not the best start. Um, as for Azuro, assuming it's life orb. How much do we do with Eevee? Eevee knocks out with a body slam. <laughs> so part of me wants to throw up a sub here, expecting the Pawnyard pivot. <laughs> so we're gonna sub down. He should know that he just drops to this hit. I don't think he stays in. He's just gonna stay in. It's interesting. Double, double kick is a roll from here, though. That's the only ish, iffy part. So if he's at, what, 11 HP? How much is this roll? It's it's not in my favor whatsoever. Um, so I am just going to body slam. Because why not? And from here, we'll just go for a body slam. We will knock out the Azuro. There's no way this thing lives. Awesome. So big threat gone, uh, especially for that trick room aspect. Um, and I think really his only priority on this team to pick off my uh, binacle when it shell smashes up. Oh, well, no, duh, pawn yard. Just kidding. There's a whole ass pawn yard sitting there. So that's obviously not great. Um, my music might be a little loud. Let me turn it down a little bit, just in case. And yeah. Um, Ponyard can come out. Ugh, part of me really just wants to stay in the attack, too. LC bulky attacker, double kick <laughs> to not bulky. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. If this thing isn't Sash. Um, 
Ah, oh, that's Evio. So if he's not Evio. Bite is a two hit KO. I'm just gonna go for the bite. He's scarf. Shit. Okay. Scarf Litwick. That's a cool bring. Um. Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's tough. Okay. So you go Binacle, and I think right here, I'm just going to throw off a Rock Blast. Because of the fact that Goldeen is so healthy, I don't think he lets me set up for free either. But I can get two Shell Smashes on the thing if he lets me. So he should go into Goldeen, and if I hit this thing with the... Um, he hugs the Ponyard. So he went into Ponyard. That is interesting. Not looking great for your hero. Okay. I think right here, I pivot into this. I want to see that binacle damage as well. I don't think he's Evo. Rock Blast wouldn't have done that much, yeah. Um. <laughs> so I feel as if my best play is to go into um, Abdul here. God, this is awful positioning. Oh. It's fine, though. It's fine. I think we can pretty freely uh, go for a Heat Wave. Or do I want a nasty plot? What comes in if I nasty plot? I think I could pretty freely heat wave though. So that's what we're gonna go for. The only issue is Joltik puts me in such an awful position. Yeah, I don't know if there's a winning position for us at this point. Um, I'm thinking ahead to my end game, and I don't know if we can. So this should knock it out. Yeah, it is gonna knock it out because I don't think he was Evie Light. Down it goes. We get to keep our juice intact. Uh, we are not chipped. He would have knocked off there, I believe, to knock off my juice, um, which would have been annoying. Maybe I should have nasty plotted there. Hmm. I was scared he was gonna pivot out. Is my only thing. Um. So hold on, we have. Joel Tick. I don't think I can risk because if he makes the bug buzz play, I ought to lose the game. Damn. If he makes the bug buzz play, I ought to lose the game. So yeah, he's going to Thunderbolt. So we're going to lose that thing. We might just lose the game in general, unfortunately. Okay, so I think my play here is to spin into Rock Slide. I think I lose the game, though. I don't think I really have a position in which I can win. So we're going to spin to get the speed boost. So he's going to be faster. He's Buzz. Yeah, we lose. GG's. Um, we just didn't have enough for his team. I, I really didn't like this matchup, and we just weren't able to position ourselves correctly. This thing's going to kill me 800 times over with my uh, Binacle. If it has uh, Energy Ball, which it should. So, I might as well go for a Shell Smash. Hope for the best. Thunderbolt. So we actually, we can live this. Don't pair. Okay, so if we, like, crit through the Goldeen. Then maybe. This thing has not shown Life Orb, so I think it might be Sash. I think my best play is to go for a Rock Blast. Sucker punch. It's gonna be enough, huh? Oh, damn, it's good bring. Okay, well, GG. Um, 
really disappointing end for us. We we definitely uh, got tossed around that game. It's it's frustrating, but we had a good season nonetheless. Uh, I can't be too upset. Viz played that game great. Uh, he definitely didn't, you know, no hacks involved. It was just good play by him and uh, unfortunately not great play by us. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys that have supported us on our LC run this season so far. Unfortunately, we don't get that illustrious uh, Wi-Fi chip or that LC chip, which is, again, very frustrating. But hopefully next season we come back better and stronger and stuff like that. And uh, Good luck to Viz in finals. I believe he's playing Slick, so that should be a fun one to watch. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.